Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. This is continuation of uh, lecture number seven, and uh, I will discuss uh, the secondary sources of the uh, energy in this part. So this is the chart of electricity generation. The data is uh, from electricity generation from utility sc uh, scale facilities, and the source of this is graphic United. Uh, states Energy Information Administration Electric Power Monthly by February 2018. So, uh, uh, according to this uh, graph, uh, the total of 4.01 kilowatt or uh, trillion kilowatt hours, 17% uh, of the energy was generated by renewable sources, which included uh, hydropower electricity uh, through windmills, through biomass to solar or photovoltaic system and via geothermal power plants. Uh, this is 1% uh, from petroleum and uh, this is uh, nuclear energy that is 20%. Uh, the use of coal is whooping 30% and use of uh, natural gas is uh, approximately 32%. So, this is the continuation. The electricity from uh, you know, uh, electricity generation from utility scale facilities, uh, and uh, this is the graph of uh, and the data from 2017. So coal has the brownish of shade. The next come is the natural gas. This is the graph from 1915 to 2017, I guess. Uh, this is the graph for nuclear energy, the renewables, and the petroleum. See the trend. So again, this is uh, the graph for generation of renewable energy, so, uh, generation of electricity from uh, renewable energy sources from 1915 to 2017. Uh, the major portion is from hydroelectric, uh, the remaining graphs are the combination of biomass, geothermal wind, and solar. The solar, solar has contribution. Uh, relatively very very less as compared to uh, the a graph of uh, hydroelectric generation so these are the pie chart uh, from us residential sector electricity consumption by major and use this and uses 2017 and this one is uh, for the commercial sector note the blue one that is uh, uh, from the hydral yellow one is from the sun the colors are the same as were in the previous slide that brown was for biomass and orange was for geothermal here the pie chart is divided by uh, their uh, percentage according to the uh, residential uh, sector electric using that 15.4 percent is used for uh, space cooling this 42 percent is for other uses that has not been documented 5.9 percent for television and other related appliances this is for uh, space heating this one is for refrigerators that is 8.8 percent for tube lights and other lighting equipment that is 9.4 and water and heating 9.5 percent and for space cooling uh, that is air conditioners etc that is 15 percent 
Now this one is the commercial consumption. These are the 35 percent of the uses that other uses that has not that have not been properly documented. 15.3 percent for computer, 14 percent for refrigeration, 11.2 for ventilation, space cooling for 10.6, lighting 10.6, and space and water heating is about 3.6. Two percent. Now this is the uh, graph of uh, United States manufacturing electricity consumption by major users and user by uh, 2014. This 48 percent, 48.2 uh, percent is uh, the energy consumed by machine drives 14 percent for uh, is in boiling and heating system 9.5 for cooling and heating purposes and ventilation space cooling space heating etc 6.8 percent in electrochemical processes and 7.3 percent for refrigeration purposes other processes and facility uses that have not been properly documented are 7.3% and 6.5% is used for lightning. Now let us uh, discuss about the hydrogen. <coughs> hydrogen is an energy carrier like uh, electricity and it is uh, considered to be one of the major portions in secondary sources of energy in PEM fuel cell I hydrogen rich fuel is injected at an anode and an oxidant is fed to a cathode and the output of the cell is electricity and the byproducts are hydrogen uh, sorry byproducts are water and heat only so this is the principle which will be used in fuel cell based cars i'll give an example in future slides the hydrogen has the highest energy content of any common fuel by weight about three times more than our normal gasoline used in internal combustion engines and it has lowest energy content by volume because it is in gaseous state that is four times less than gasoline now let's uh, discuss about the production the hydrogen is produced or separated from various sources that includes water methane like uh, fossil fuels and bi uh, biomass the problem uh, that human race is uh, currently facing for the production or separation of hydrogen is that more energy is used in separating or producing hydrogen than the hydrogen provides when it is converted into a uh, useful form of energy that might be mechanical energy or heat energy so researchers are putting in their efforts to decrease the in, uh, energy requirements uh, for the production and separation of hydrogen from other materials like methane and water the main use of hydrogen is that it is used in rocket fuel and in fuel cell in order to produce electricity on spray a spacecraft the first ever fuel cell was used in 
Apollo mission, Apollo 1. You might heard of the it. Now uh, let us uh, discuss about the production method of hydrogen. The first one is steam steam reforming. It is also known as steam methane reforming. It is a method of producing syngas that is the mixture of hydrogen and carbon monoxide by the reaction of hydrocarbons with water. Commonly nat natural gas uh, is the feedstock. The main purpose of this technology is hydrogen production. And uh, the most of the world hydrogen production is done through this method, steam reforming or steam methane reforming. The next method is the electrolysis. Uh, electrolysis means the use of uh, electricity to break the bonds of different molecules like methane or water. For example, uh, we can use electrolysis to split hydrogen from water using uh, electric current. Uh, we can say that it does not produce an emission other from hydrogen and oxygen but uh, unfortunately the electricity produced nowadays is mainly from fossil fuels and coal so production of hydrogen is not actually carbon free it does not have a zero footprint of carbon. However, it can be debated that uh, the electricity that is being used in electrolysis can come through renewable energy sources. But the renewable energy sources are not yet well developed to produce a large amount of electricity so fossil fuels are used for the production of electricity and co2 carbon dioxide emission is produced from fossil fuels so the whole process of electrolysis is uh, indirectly related to the use of fossil fuel. The other methods of producing hydrogen is using microbes. Microbes are microorganisms. Uh, for example, uh, during fermentation process, um, sugar is fermented for example, or sugar cane remains are uh, fermented uh, to produce alcohol. Similarly, uh, microbes can be used to convert, to use light in order to separate hydrogen from water molecules. The next one is the converting biomass into gas or liquid and then separating hydrogen and using solar energy to spread water molecules or produce hydrogen. For example that uh, we use photovoltaic system to generate electricity and that electricity is further used to break the water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen.
now let us discuss about the application of hydrogen in industry for refining petroleum it is used for treating metals uh, and for producing fertilizers and for processing food nasa used liquid hydrogen in 1950 as a rocket fuel in fuel cells to power the systems of spacecraft in apollo 1 mission it can be used in alternate to transport fuel in fuels from zero emission electric vehicles fuel cells are two to three time more efficient than internal combustion engine which are running on gasoline because there is no carnot cycle involved in it and electricity is directly generated from the fuel this is the example of uh, proton exchange membrane from this terminal hydrogen is provided and from this terminal positive terminal oxygen is provided so here the ionized hydrogen positive ions are directly going from the proton exchange membrane towards here and electrons will travel through the load and the current will be produced dc current will be produced 